ericmother.com for October 10th, 2018. We are seeing the markets record one of the biggest down days for, let's call it 2018, or let's call it since January of this year. There is the close. Let's call it about a 4% to 3% down day in the general market. Now, I would hate to say this, but some of us have been seeing this coming. And so in a way, we were ahead of this move lower. What I want to show you today is one of the reasons why the market is down in terms of an expansion in volatility is because of where the RSI was trading on the daily. If you take a look at the NASDAQ on the daily for today, we see that the NASDAQ is dropping below RSI level of 30.9. And we know what happens when any trading instrument drops below 30.9. You get an expansion in volatility. Just like you get an expansion in volatility when you drop below 50, which is what happened here a couple of days ago. We see that the S&P 500 also had a substantial down day because it moved its daily RSI below 30.9. And we see that the Dow today was moving its daily RSI below 50. So if you had seen this trying to set the stage for this down day, you would have prepared accordingly. Keep in mind, the last time I talked about these levels was, was, was last week when the Indian market, the Nifty, dropped below RSI 30.9. And on that day, we saw a substantial drop, which is this, these two days here. So nothing new. It's something we've been talking about for many years. So it pays attention to watch the critical levels of RSI 69.1, RSI 50, and RSI 30.9. If you can understand how this brings an expansion in price action, you can get ahead of major moves up or down. So no surprise with a big down day. And just for the sake of history, let me show you some of the other stocks on this list that I'm watching, I've been watching. All right, that's it for now. Eric Moad with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, A, C, S. Woo! Yeah!